I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a piano that we just brought in that uh, we're going to be doing a full rebuild on. And this piano has um, just an awesome story. I'll tell you real quick and then I'll show you the piano. Um, the, uh, the piano originally belonged to uh, a piano technician, actually a piano rebuilder up in Salt Lake who had a, who had a shop um, in kind of an industrial area of Salt Lake. He, he built it himself. He was a, actually a school teacher. Um, since the, I think in the, starting in the 50s, I want to say, after he got back from Korea and the Korean War, and then he, he rebuilt pianos and, and taught school for decades and was like one of the favorite, favorite teachers for, for decades and decades. And then he retired from teaching and, uh, and then went into uh, working on pianos, among other interesting hobbies, full time. And he passed away recently. Um, and, uh, and his, his widow, who is um, in her late 80s, she, this, this was supposed to be their piano. This was supposed to be their special kind of couple's piano. So um, uh, she found us and, and hired us to, to finish where her husband left off. So we're, we're going to be doing a full, full rebuild for her. On the on the piano, and then uh, and then we'll totally rebuild the the player mechanism as well. It has a um, a uh, pneumatic player. It's a 1925 Henry F. Miller, and he already refinished it. Um, he uh, he did a he did a really nice job. He's a, he's a good technician, and his shop is unbelievable. The guy really knows what he's doing. Um, but uh, he's he's done he's done very very little to the guts, and so of course that's what we're focusing on. So let's let's kind of have a look at things. Make sure this is on. Yep. So I mean, overall, it looks um, everything with a few exceptions. Like you can see a string bass string that was replaced. Who knows? 20 or 30 or 40 years ago, but uh, all the strings are original. The soundboard looks to be in pretty good condition. Plate, of course, is original. So, so we'll be doing we'll be doing this full rebuild. We'll take everything apart and, and redo the soundboard, redo the plate, redo all the strings and dampers, redo the hammers and all the action, the pins. Um, so, so complete rebuild. Um, Oh, well, maybe, yeah, that'll, that'll hold. Uh, he left this piano in, it, it's, it's a unique project in so many, so many ways. One of which is this, this uh, um, warehouse where he worked, it's kind of, I guess it's kind of a warehouse, that he actually built himself in the, I think it was in the early, 70s, I want to say, that he, that he built this warehouse himself. Um, it's full, completely full of pianos. And I, I actually understand, actually, let's do a, a 360. I totally to understand the impulse of, of get, having lots and lots of piano projects going at, at, at the same time. And that's very much what he had going, is, is tons of pianos that were simultaneously going at the same time. And of course, there's there's an action over here, and cabinetry over there, and hinges, and hammers of this piano, and keys of that piano, and, and pedals, and the lyre, and the, the dampers, and everything just of all of these different pianos just kind of scattered everywhere. So I'm hoping that we got everything. I'm pretty sure we did, but I had to do some kind of looking around the, the, uh, the, the warehouse to sort of piece together the shop. I should call it the shop, not warehouse. It's a shop. To sort of piece together all of the all of the parts, so so that's going to be interesting as we put things together. If we're missing something, we might have to improvise. I don't know because it's a vast, it is a vast shop, huge, lots of pianos crammed together, and most of them are taken apart. So um, anyway, so let's just listen to it quickly. <laughs>
hear lots of dead bass and obviously damper issues. dramatically improve on that. So and of course what you're not getting on the video is you're not getting the, the touch. Um, of course it's functional. But uh, it's of course as would be expected not in correct regulation. So so yeah I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be resetting the clock. I guess it's uh, 1925 so uh, so resetting the clock, 95 years old now, and, and we'll hopefully give it another 95 years. It'll be gorgeous on the inside, all new, all new parts, and, and uh, of course it'll be beautiful. I think uh, I think this this uh, piano technician's widow will be able to pass this down, and and um, hopefully the the uh, grandchildren and great grandchildren and beyond will, will hopefully tell the story of this of this beloved man who uh, who left. And, and his widow, who left this, this beautiful legacy.